Welcome traders. My name is Adam Harris, Chief Market Analyst. We've just finished. This is Friday, the 4th of October. We've just got this side of non-farm payroll and basically I have an opportunity to record this today and then it's done uh, and then I don't have to do anything like homework on a Sunday evening. So kicking off, I'm going to look straight at the VIX. You can see, again, what I want to do for context here is just have a look at it on a monthly basis. You can see it's still operating at relatively historically low levels. And all I mean by that is that the markets are relatively calm. There's a slight up tick at the moment, implying that there could be some greater volatility, you know, potentially uh, down the line, but nothing necessarily to be alarmed about. So just that I pointed out. Now, moving on to the dollar index. So big thing, it won't show up here just yet, but dollar index, dollar had a really good day today. Um, great numbers out of the US in terms of unemployment dropping, uh, beating expectations on NFP figures. So all really good. And that US economy continues to do incredibly well under uh, Democratic administration. So um, first of all, the point here that I want to show you is that we've got a very strong bullish candle here on the dollar index, certainly on the weekly basis. And the implication from this is that it's reasonable to expect that the dollar is attempting to remain within this range. Um, and therefore, this could ultimately turn out to be the beginning of the move back up towards the top. We're not completely free and clear yet. We've still got to really break and close above these previous highs. So what I'm going to be looking for next week is possibly a bit of a retracement and then a continuation, ideally um, breaking and going beyond these levels. Um, and to see that's really what I'll be looking for. A couple of weeks ago, I didn't do one last weekend, but a couple of weekends ago, I spoke about the idea that we would either break out of the range or react and stay within the range. And it appears so far that we are staying within the range. Moving on to euro dollar. So euro, euro dollar, big important, has broken these significant lows here also on the weekly. And so that moves me right to the monthly. And so far, what that appears to do is to show a failed breakout at this time. Um, and so at a minimum, I'm looking for euro dollar to head down to this next level of resistance at 1.09 or 1.0889. Um, that is my shorter term expectation, at least next week. Should we continue below that? Obviously, then my expectation is we'll start to work our way down towards the bottom of this range. But if the euro dollar, if the euro itself is going to continue to strengthen, I think there's a fair possibility it's going to find some support in the coming days there. If we have a look at sterling as well, uh, here we have this uptrend is still managed to remain intact. We're still above these previous highs. So this uptrend is looking nice and strong. And yes, although there has been a bit of a rejection here, I'm not really seeing cable as weak with regards to that. However, I would still expect it to continue to attempt to push a little bit further down before finding its feet. So overall, pound still strong relative to the uh, euro. Um, and against, I beg your pardon, relative to the US dollar as well. So again, having a look here at the Australian dollar against the US dollar, you could see a failed breakout at this time. Doesn't mean we're out just yet, just meaning the MACD is looking nice and bullish, just means that there is a potential here for price to regroup before taking another attempt at the upside. Kiwi dollar as well, this one getting smacked quite a bit harder, coming back clearly within this monthly range. And so again, it's at a level, at a key level was resistance. We'll see if it tested for support. If we break that, my expectation is we'll head back down towards the next level. So you can see here there's a fair possibility of at least a continuation of today's move um, in the early part of next week. Dolling in producing that swing low. So here we have effectively a double bottom in an uptrend. All right, so we've got price testing a key level, coming back, bouncing off that key level again. Um, and so we've got a very, very strong move this week, strong uptrend on the daily. And so shorter term, I'm expecting to see this continue to the upside. I will be looking for any retracements for buying opportunities to the upside. Dollar Swissy also here finding some very strong support at that 08400 level and actually here as well within this monthly small range at the moment. This looks as though it has a good fair chance of working its way back up towards at least the middle of that range in the coming days. Dollar CAD. Not showing a very clear trend at this time, but it's in the middle of its range and actually looking a little bit bullish here. So also looking as though that's got a good chance of heading up a little bit higher. So it's interesting when you look at dollar yen, dollar sushi, dollar CAD, they all look as though they want to head higher, supported by that stronger US dollar. Um, but then I was saying that cable and euro, for example, although they were getting knocked down, that they might regroup and take another move high. That is still a possibility if the euro and the pound remain independently strong. However, looking at the rest of these charts, it looks as though that dollar is is stepping back in uh, and has come to play. All right, 
dollar. Uh, let's have a look at gold. So sorry, that was the dollar. Let's ha have a look at gold. Gold is starting at least here, has produced a very small inside spinning top. Okay, it's an inside candle as well. Um, and so it seems to be topping out a little bit around that $2,660 level. So what I'm gonna be looking for this coming week is gonna be a break of the lows of these candles, which would signal a retracement starting on the weekly. And then I would expect gold to be able to work its way back down to 2550 or 2500. Moving on, having a look at light crude. Very strong bullish uh, setup here. So I was looking for a move down last week, a big upon the week before last. We had a really nice pullback into a strong level of support, looking for a continuation down. Price did indeed head down and has now reversed. So now we have an uptrend on the daily. Looks relatively bullish here, but really when you look at it on the monthly, you can see that it is dwindling. It is just hovering and swiveling around this key level of $72 and also around the 10 and 20 moving averages. So no clear direction on crude oil at this time. Then let's have a look at the global markets, starting off with the Dow. So the Dow as well, starting a little bit of a swing high on the weekly there. Overall, still nice and bullish, but I'd be interested to see if we break the low here and then start a move back down towards 42,000. From a monthly perspective, really just continuing to look nice and bullish, but eventually I would expect to have a little bit, of, take a bit of a breather and possibly a bit of a correction this coming week. Let's see if that's gonna be the case. Again, also looking at that S&P 500, you can see it's starting to weaken a little bit there, running a little bit of exhaustion, not much movement uh, the last couple of weeks with regards to the weekly chart and the weekly candles there, and also starting to show a little bit of exhaustion here on the monthly. So again, this week, I'm going to be looking to see if we break the low and if that then triggers a bit of a correction down towards 5,600. Um, overall, trends looking really nice and, and happy. The economy is doing really well. But even so, we still do tend to have weekly retracements as well as daily pullbacks. Here, for example, we have got a pullback into a previous level of resistance. And this would ordinarily or in isolation be a buy setup. But we've also got some strong resistance up ahead. So we've got some conflicting signals there. NASDAQ here, you can see also just back Battling in here, I think it's worthwhile marking this level. So let's just go in and see where those candles are really bumping the head up against that 20,220 level. And uh, so again, if we break the low here, I'd expect a bit of a deeper correction. From a monthly perspective, all it really appears to be doing is going sideways, which is a consolidation, which could likely be a consolidation ahead of a breakout to the upside. The Russell 2000, so the big thing here is really that the Russell 2000 managed to break out of a range that it had been sitting in going back to April 2022, and now it is just trying to bump its head up against that 2300 level, um, and it's just stuck in purgatory between the previous range and this new level of resistance. So really want to see if that ultimately does manage to push up, but not expecting very much. If you look the last three or four weeks, not really doing very much, so I expect that to likely stay where it is. The footy performing in a very similar fashion here as well. It's got a strong level of resistance up ahead and it's generally treading water. So for now, expecting these, if we break the lows here, we could have a bit of a deeper correction, but not really expecting too much just yet. There's no real signs of it. It's taking a breather, a well-deserved breather after having such having survived September as well, for example. Uh, the DAX. So the DAX triggering a little bit of an inside bearish candle here, which is simply just a retracement. That monthly continues to look really good. What I'd really like to see here is a break of the low of uh, the low of the week candle and just see a bit of a correction or a tracement further down but also just taking note here we've also got a bullish setup here this is a bullish engulfing candle off a level of resistance so this is in itself is already kind of a setup for a buy setup so interesting i want to see what happens this week we break the high we could see a bit of a move up but at the same time that weekly is looking as though it really is desperate to have a bit of a breather and take a bit of a um, have a bit of a correction Nikkei, also very nice little bullish monthly candle forming so far. We've got an uptrend in place, but we really didn't do much the last couple of weeks. So again, I want to see what happens here. If we break the low here, I'd expect a deeper correction. And breaking the high, it will attempt, obviously, to move a little bit higher here. But not seeing a huge amount of energy this week seems as though the markets are just resting for a bit. So and then I want to have a look at, say, Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway is, in its own way, a type of index because it has such a good collection of well-performing companies. And right now, I can just see that that it's got a really nice bullish candle and it's attempting to move higher, but it just has these two um, these two dojis just sitting here and also they're kind of tr sort of borderline hanging man. So they really aren't going anywhere. There's not a lot of energy happening here either. So although this is a setup for a continuation to the upside, um, at the same time, we're really struggling. There's a bit of struggle there. So I wanna see if we break above the high or the low. 
comparing that to say Nvidia, so Nvidia continues to sort of be top heavy, just pushing up. You can see that level of resistance there on the monthly, and it's continuing to just push a little bit higher. It's still stuck within this pennant shape. Um, and of, of course, naturally, what I want you to take away from this is that it's a consolidation. So it's had a really strong move, and this consolidation will give it an opportunity to breathe before heading higher. So that actually is taking a lot of the heat off, even if it isn't doing very much uh, at the moment. Tesla, all right, sort of pushing up a little bit higher. So Tesla's had a really good run recently uh, and is stumbling right now within its uptrend. So it's still in an uptrend on the weekly. Uh, I would argue it's an uptrend on the monthly as well uh, at this time uh, and certainly an uptrend on the daily. So it is starting to look more and more bullish, um, but it's now bumping its head up against resistance. So this week will be interesting to see if it breaks through that key level or if we break the low over here and stay within that range. Vanguard I've also included, just because Vanguard is in itself a very nice, uh, well-popular ETF. And here you can see it continues to tick along. Only thing I want to mention here is just the smallness of these, a little bit of exhaustion, and the dojis and spinning top candles here, which trigger could, well, not trigger, they then can indicate indecision and potentially a swing high. So we could, again, here also showing some signs that there is a potential for a correction on the horizon. And let's move on to bonds. Okay, so bonds, as I said, what interests me in general about them is the attempt for them to move and turn around. Today, they've had a bit of a heavy day, so there's a bit of, uh, bit of a deeper correction here. So this coming week, I want to see if they find some support here and produce a bullish candle over the coming week. Let's have a look at Eurobund. Eurobund, you can see, really battling with that strong level of resistance, um, and that's quite a strong bearish candle. So yeah, I think there's a high probability we'll see a further continuation to the downside, and then we'll test this level for support. So that just means that at least for the time being, bonds are just uh, bonds as well are just not getting not feeding the love. Cryptos. So let's have a quick look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin actually doing okay today. Not so bad. You can see overall pushing up a little bit higher and within this monthly um, within the monthly chart is starting to turn around. So very slowly. But I do think it's important to highlight so far, it's really holding its, it's holding together. Uh, Ethereum, I just want to compare. I'm just going to, well, won't just include Bitcoin. I'll include one other in it, one other, and I will do use Ethereum for that. So for now, this is just treading water. I would note it's just sitting below all the moving averages. So it's going to find some strong resistance there. And when we break back up above, that would be a very positive sign. But it is trying to turn around here. The angle of momentum has gone from quite bearish to sideways. So we're going to see if it can break up to the upside there. And it's certainly going to try. My point here is, on the whole, Bitcoin is holding up much better than it would have in the past. Um, and so that is a relatively good sign for uh, crypto traders who are interested in that. But again, <clears throat> there are some mixed signals here with regards to which way it's going to go. It is definitely attempting to turn on so that it can um, stay bullish and ideally next week continue higher. We'll see if, again, I think that if the NASDAQ hits higher and the uh, rest of the global markets do, I think it wouldn't be a surprise to see cryptos follow through on that. So there we go. Ladies and gents, uh, have a fantastic weekend and I will see you next week uh, and have a great week ahead. There's a lot of opportunities I think with regards to currency pairs and uh, also interesting to see if the global markets do enjoy a brief correction.